Zaman, how much did your wrist bother you last year, and what's it feeling like at this point? Um, I mean, it was all right last year, you know. I can't really complain about it. You know, it's better now. You know, I did what I had to do over the summer, and, you know, I feel good. Any lingering pain in your any problems right now, or you feel like it's 100%? No, I feel like it's 100%. How do you rehab an injury like that? Is it more just rest than, than anything, or? Um, yeah, I mean, you rest it for a while, and then, you know, you get treatment, and you got to do a lot of strengthening and stuff, so you got to do stuff like dumbbells and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Kind of rehab, obviously, then if it's like a knee or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Do you get into the details with the doctors about what all they did in the surgery, or is it just more like, hey, fixed it now, I want to get it better and get going? I mean, yeah, I mean, I got into detail because I wanted to know what they did, but, you know, it is what it is. Why not? Why, not? Uh, why didn't you tell anyone last year about it? I mean, play for Bob Huggins, you know, you want to play, so you just you play through the pain. You notice the difference? What do you mean do I notice the difference? If you like to shoot. I mean, I, I shot decent last year. I mean, I could have shot better, but you know, my jump shot has improved, if that's what you want to know. Yeah. yeah. It's early in the process, but what's how's the team shaping up? Uh, well, you said it, it's early, so, I mean, we only had two practices, so we don't really, like, have everything set in stone or whatever. Like we, everybody don't know how to play and stuff like that. But we got a good group of kids, and I feel like we're gonna be good this year. Every team has a pecking order. Does this one already have a pecking order as far as who's who's the man? Uh, I mean, you let the coaches decide that. But I mean, every everybody feel different about who they are to the team. So I mean, I guess so. Transition from being, you know, one of the young guys on the team and trying to work his way up, you know, to now being one of the older guys who's, you know, has been around the block a few times. Uh, well, I learned from the older guys and I, I kind of know like what I got to do to try to lead the team and I feel like as one of the leaders, I got to, you know, set an example for the younger guys and you know, go as hard as I can all the time and just really set an example. With two senior leaders going out the door like they did, did you take any specific lessons? From Javon and Dax, or is it more about putting your stamp, your personality, and being a leader from what your strengths are? Um, well, first you gotta really, you know, try to tell like people what they're supposed to be doing, and just try to lead them in the right direction. Then after that, you just really lead by example. You're supposed to, if you're telling everybody like you gotta go hard, but you're not going hard, nobody's gonna listen to you. So, you just really gotta lead by example. Do you feel like one of the older guys now? I mean, yeah, I feel like I've been here for a long time, so. I do feel like one of the older guys. Me too. <laughs> How about that guy over there in the corner shooting jump shots? He, he looks like he's in great shape. What's he done this year? Well, he said he put in a lot of work over the summer. You know, he lost a lot of weight, and you know, he really in shape. So it's a different Issa.